Godzilla mode. That's right. That sounds a lot better than the stock. Let's get this car on the dyno. Yeah. Stay back, stay in your lane. This car will smoke you. And we're about to light the streets up. Let's do this. Welcome back to the channel. Behind me is the RP5 GTR and we're gonna make this into a supercar killer. How are we gonna do that? Follow me to the table. This is what you call a full bolt-on package and why it's called a full bolt-on is because it's very straightforward. You've got a wire pipe, dam pipe, intakes, spark plugs and injectors. Once we replace this and tune the car, we can extract between 650 to 680 bhp. Why is there a difference in power? Because these are all hand-built engines and no two GTR engines are the same. At the same time, we'll carry out an engine oil service and a transmission service as well. This in the States is called the FBO package, which is short for full bolt-on. Due to having a larger diameter on the intake and the exhaust, it allows the stock turbos to achieve the maximum potential, which is the power figures I mentioned, 650 to 680. Anyway, let's get this parts fitted and let's get started. So that is the stage 4.25 package, all boxed up now. We're gonna give it the first start, let the car warm up a little bit. And obviously, because I done a transmission oil service, we're gonna have to go through the gears and then top up more oil onto it. That sounds a lot better than the stock. Let's get this car on the dyno. looking like a beast look at this guys it's absolutely freezing today two degrees celsius it's good for tuning though it'll keep the car nice and cold right let's get this car strapped up into the dyno and let's see what it makes so we now have the gtr strapped up to the dyno the first thing we're going to do is do a base map on the car and then i'll do some logs on the dyno Once we do that, we'll get our results and from that we'll do our custom tuning. So that's the boost, timing, fuel ratios to make everything perfect. And then we can do a power run and get a power reading out of it to see what we end up with. It's going to be fun, so let's get cracking. the base map loaded onto the car now we're gonna do some logs and see how it goes so guys if you want to know how this works have a look over here so in the OBD port, I've got my tuning tool plugged in. I've got that hooked up to my phone, so I can log the full car. So as you can see, we've got live readings. See that? We've got atmospheric pressure, boost bank one, coolant temperature, everything that you need to tune the car. So now I'm gonna do the first log. Let's run it up.
the car's fully mapped up, running full power. Now it's time for the fun. Check this out, guys. Godzilla mode. That's right. Switch that on. Crank up the fuel. And we're about to light the streets up. Let's do this. That was insane, man. You can literally cook a chicken. No, oh, damn, that was crazy. The flames are in them, they're coming out for 20 seconds and then. Is it, yeah? Back. Mad. So that's what you call Godzilla mode in a GTR. Deadly cars, man. You don't mess with these GTRs. This is only a bolt on package, stage four. This car can do stage eight. Stay back, stay in your lane. This car will smoke you. <laughs> so, all the tuning is now done. We're going to do a power run to see what the car made. Let's do that. Let's see what sort of power this GTR is making. We're going to do a fourth gear and we're going to do a long pull. Let's go for it. So, we have some power figure guys, who wants to see it? Come over. So, the car made a peak power of 675 bhp and it also made torque at 546, which is pretty good. Um, very strong for a GTR, it's running pretty strong on the dyno as well. These GTRs make between 650 to 680 bhp. The curve on this dyno is very smooth as you can see. It's a linear graph. Let's go smoothly out. Peak power is made at 7,000 RPM, so around here. That's where it's making 675 bhp. So I'm gonna take the car for a test drive now, see how it runs on the road as well, as well as the dyno. We do that for every car we tune. Uh, dyno run alone is not good enough, because remember the car's being driven on the road. So logs on the road, logs on the dyno, and then wrap it up with some Godzilla modes. You guys are gonna love that, so stay tuned. So that's the GTR tuning complete. We got 675 bhp out of it. Very impressed with the results. As I said before, the engines are hand built. That's why the results differ between the models. But yeah, man, strong GTR right here. Godzilla mode was absolutely crazy. All them flames that are flying out. I didn't really do much talking because the car was so loud, literally popping our ears off. That's it for this video. This is Nam's Boost. Subscribe, like, and share, and we'll catch you in the next one.